and for me. But I got to separate myself from sin. And you got to separate yourself from sin if you want the power of Yahweh in your life. That's why Yeshua had the power. He was separated. He wasn't living in sin. He wasn't playing with sin. His mission was to fulfill, to do the will of his father. So John tells us that when the Ruach comes, he said, I'm going to baptize you with water. But one comes out to me, who is Yeshua, who shall baptize you with the Ruach and fire. Hallelujah. Let the fire of Yahweh burn inside of you. Oh, Father, let the fire, your fire burn inside of me. And Jeremiah said, your word is like a consuming fire burning inside of me. Oh, I don't never want to quench this fire. This reminds me of the book of and, and the book of uh, Leviticus. It said that when the when the fire was on the altar, it was never to go out, never to go out. And so it is a picture, a shadow, of talking about us. Don't never let the fire of Yahweh go out in you. Don't let it create the fire, stir up the fire that's in you. Don't let sin, don't let the cares of the world put the fire out in you. Create that fire, stir up that fire. And you know that when you have a fire on a, a, a barbecue pit, and when the fire is going out, all you do is just uh, uh, turn up, turn the side a uh, 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 hole where the wind can come through there. You see, the wind, the Ruach, the Holy Spirit is like wind. So you, you need the wind of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, to come inside of you, the flame, to begin to flame, to begin to flame. And that fire will come alive, my beloved. And I'm telling you, once that fire come alive, it is your job to keep that fire going. How you do that? By prayer, by witness, by studying, by obedience. Keep that fire going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So John is preaching repentance. But... Guess what? John not the only one preaching repentance. Look at chapter uh, 4 of Matthews. Now we're going to talk about Yeshua. Listen what Ye Yeshua, when he, come, when he comes on the scene, listen what he said. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. He said, from that time, now this is when he came out of the wilderness, being temp tempted by the devil, right? In Matthew, uh, Matthew chapter 4, after being tested by the devil, tested him. But he, he fulfilled the test. See, you and I, we can defeat the enemy too. How did he defeat the enemy? By quoting the word, by knowing the word, by being obedient. He wasn't playing around with sin. He wasn't playing around. He, his mind was focused. That's how you and I believe it. We got to get focused, not be uh, 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 distracted by other things around us. That's, that's why uh, 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 in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, it says that we ought to lay, uh, uh, to cast down, cast down all a vain imagination, everything, every wicked thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring it to subject it. We got to do that. When Yeshua came out of the wilderness, Matthew wanted us to know in verse 17 of chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Yeshua began to preach. What did he begin to preach? It said, and said, repent for the kingdom or the government of Yahweh is here. So I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you as believer. As a believer. As those one who want to be in the kingdom. You must repent. The kingdom is a prepared place for a prepared people. Beloved, are you prepared? Are you prepared to turn away from your sin? Are you prepared to turn away from your wickedness? All those things that offend Yahweh with his word. John the Baptist preached repentance. Yeshua preached repentance. Look at Acts chapter 17. And we'll close on this verse. Acts chapter 17. So John the Baptist preached repentance. Yeshua Hamashiach preached repentance. Listen what Paul says. Uh, Acts chapter 17. Even Paul preached repentance. Paul says this here. Why should we? Why should you and I repent? Look at verse uh, chapter seventeen, verse thirty. Paul says, "And the time of ignorance, Elohim winked at at us. He winked, but now why? He command men everywhere to repent. Yahweh know that we was ignorant by by doing certain things. He know that we was ignorant by doing Christmas, Halloween, Easter, all those uh, pagan holidays. He know that we was ignorant to His word." Because our, maybe our parents didn't teach us right. But deep down in our heart, we know that we're not doing right. So I challenge to you, as Paul said, he, why should we repent? Because verse 31 of 17, Acts 17, verse 31. Because 
God or Elohim has appointed a, a day in which he will judge the world and righteousness. There's a day coming that is appointed that Yah will judge the world. And so, my beloved, I don't want you to be found guilty on that day. I challenge you today. Right where you at. Fall on your knees. Repent of your sins. Repent. Listen to what Peter says. I know I said that last verse, but listen to what Peter says. And, and even Peter preached repentance. Look at uh, Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. Peter says here, talking to his leaders of the day. Acts chapter 2. Peter said, then Peter said to them, repent. You see how all, 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 the, all the writers are saying, repent. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's my challenge to you today, beloved. Repent. Destroy the old house before you. Turn from your wickedness. Destroy the old lifestyle and go into the house of Yahweh. Destroy the old house and get into the house of Yahweh. Go back home, just like the prodigal son. Go back home. Don't waste your life out there on the streets. Don't waste your life with, 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 with sin and loose living. Repent. The father is waiting. Just like the prodigal son, father, he's waiting for you to repent and come back home. Not go to another house, but come back home. So, I want to leave you with those words. I pray, Father, that today, those that are out there listening to this message, Father, those that will hear this message, Father, knowing, repent. you broken the commandments. you sinned. you committed adultery. You're a liar. you lied. Have you ever lied? That's a sin. Have you ever committed adultery? That's sin. That's sin. Have you ever stole something? That's sin. Okay? Have you ever put anything before Yahweh? That's a sin. Have you ever hated your brother, your sister? That's a sin. That's sin. First John 3, 4. Uh, first John chapter 3, verse 4 say, sin. What is sin? Transgression of the Torah. And how many sins do you have to break to be a sinner? One. So today, beloved, turn from your sins. Confess your sins and turn to Yahweh. That you may be saved, that your sins may be forgiven, and you receive the Ruach. Until next time, Shalom, my brother, and my sister.